everybody. It is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness. And this video is kind of eerie. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should be doing this in October. It is very dark where I'm at. And I'm sitting in my car waiting for one of my kids to get done soccer. So I thought I would do a video. So I'm hoping you can see me. And most importantly, I'm hoping you can hear me. Um, so today I'm going to talk about what results are you currently living and why you have those results. If you have not watched any of my videos, my name is Nicole and I am a personal trainer at Shape It Up Fitness. Um, I own the business and I absolutely love what I do. I love helping women get fit and realize the potential that's probably been holding them back for a while. Um... So if you want to learn more about Shape It Up, go ahead over to shapeitupfitness.com and you can check it out. So we're talking about why you have the results that you currently have in your life. Um, so I am over 40. I am actually teetering into closer to 50. I just had a birthday. <laughs> so, But back in my um, mid to late 30s, um, I got married later. So I got married when I was 30 and then I had my kids by the time I was 35. So between like 35 and 40, um, I kept constantly going over the same thought that kept popping in my head and it was why in the heck do I keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again? And why do I keep doing these and I, why, do I, why can't I get past them? Um, and that is what spurred my interest to go and look for more like self-help type things and um, to kind of dive into a little bit more of the psychology behind why we do the things that we do. Um, a lot of things that I had trouble dealing with were like why I had no control over food, control, um, over certain foods, and um, just kind of wrapping my brain around why did I keep repeating the same patterns and keep getting stuck doing the same stuff? So in my pursuit of self-help books, one of the books that I read, actually I listened to, um, if you are an Audible, I love Audible. Um, I'm not affiliated with them, but I love Audible because I can listen to the books while I'm walking or working out. Um, I love to listen to podcasts and books on like super speed. I don't know if it's because I'm from Jersey and I talk fast, but, um, so that's how I plow through books. But one of the books that I read was from Larry Wingert, Wingert, I always say his name wrong, sorry, Larry Wingert, and the book is, it's called Get Out of Your Own Way. Um, I don't think it's available on, like, paperback or anything, but I know it's in Audible still, it should be, but one of his quotes was, your life is your own damn fault, and that rang really true with me. And you hearing that, like if somebody, you know, if I said to you, your life is your own damn fault for whatever you've done, this is where you currently are. That really may sting some people. And you may be like, what do you mean? I didn't cause my life to be where it is, but it does. Um, and if it stings or it feels kind of painful to you, then we're probably heading in the right direction. Your current life on how you live, meaning what clothes you wear, what car you drive, what job you have, what food you eat, what choices you make, it is all your own doing. This includes your weight or your inches or the size of your clothes, however you want to express it to yourself. Um, that is also your fault. I hate to tell you, <laughs> it is your fault. Um... As a trainer, I don't always sugarcoat things. I like to be very upfront with my clients. So again, if I'm hitting a nerve, it's probably because, you know, it's kind of true. Um, but your weight, a lot of um, clients that come to me, I will hear it's my husband's fault because they made food for me and I had to eat it. Uh, my kid, it's my kid's fault that I'm overweight because I have to eat the food that they leave behind that they don't eat. Or maybe it's, you know, well, my genetics, all my family members are overweight, so I can't possibly be thin. Um, or time, I never have enough time. All the above, it, it's, they're just excuses. It is really your fault for being the way that you are right now. Now, 
sometimes where you're at, you might be totally thrilled with, and that's great because then the things that you did led you to where you wanted to be. But for all you ladies out there who are complaining about being overweight or not fitting into the clothes that you want to fit into, it is your fault. Um, everything that you have done up until this point has caused you to wind up where you are today. I know some of you are going to resist this idea, but just hang with me here. So everything starts with your thoughts and how you think about things. So if you think, I'll have to tell you a little side story. So before I say this, um, well, so when I was little, people used to tell me how horrible at math I was. And guess what? I am not good at. (laughs) I am not good at math. So if you think you're horrible at math, you're going to be horrible at math. If you think you can only make $30,000 a year, you will only make $30,000 a year. If you think you are fat, you will be fat. If you think you can't control what you're eating, then you're going to be out of control at every meal. If you think you can't lose weight because no one else in your family can, guess what? You will never lose weight. It is not just semantics. This is how powerful our brain is. Um, The awesome thing is that what you think will dictate your results. And why is that awesome? Because if you think horrible things, not horrible things, but if you think you're not good at something, you're not going to be able to do it. But it also applies in reverse. So if you think you're awesome at doing something, you're going to be awesome at that. So if you think you can lose weight, you can. I I know that sounds like crazy, but seriously, I, when I work with clients, I have some clients that just have such a mental block that they refuse to believe that they can't lose weight. So a lot of times what I will do when I work with them is we won't go from, I can't lose weight to you can lose weight because they don't believe that. So we got to find something in between to make them believe that. So maybe they believe that other people can lose weight. So if you're four, say you're over 40, say you're 50 and you're 250 pounds and you don't believe you can lose weight, but you believe other people who are 40 and 250 pounds can lose weight, then you believe, start believing that it's a possibility for you to lose weight. Um, so here are some tips for kind of tweaking things a little bit. Um, I don't want to go down too far down the rabbit hole because the whole psychology aspect of losing weight, um, you kind of have to layer it on. (laughs) So I don't want to layer too many layers and you'd be like, what on earth is Nicole talking about? (laughs) So here's just one layer. Start with being your own PI, your own private investigator. Start listening to how you talk. Start watching what you do and just observe, just see the things that come to your mind, the thoughts. So not even like verbally out loud. A lot of times we have thoughts that just pop into our head as soon as we think about something. It's those thoughts that you want to kind of grab onto. Now, when you're watching or listening to yourself, do not judge yourself. Just observe and just watch. Um, This is really huge. It's a huge step because if you um, have limiting beliefs, there goes a very loud car. (laughs) If you have limiting beliefs, the thoughts that pop into your head, they're the ones that are going to kind of drag you back down. Um, So make sure that you're listening and you become more aware of the stories that you're telling yourself because they're all stories. They may not be true. Um, and they're holding you back from the results that you desire. So again, you need to listen to what you're thinking, what you're saying and how you're acting and doing, and just be aware of it. Don't judge yourself. Just be aware of it. If you really want to take it a step further, start writing it down whenever it happens and just watch and see what happens. All right, so that is um, all that I have for today. If anybody has any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. Again, I hope you can see me and hear me because like I said, it's very dark here. I'm trying to use my computer as a little bit of light. Um, If you are interested in diving a little deeper into your own personal 
weight loss journey, you can reach out to me and request a free consult. You can head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Click that. It'll take you to the page where you can request a consult. All right. So I hope everyone has a fantastically wonderful evening and I will talk to you in the next video. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.